Good evening, all. How are we doing? And welcome to the stream. I believe I'm actually on time. Yeah, I'm on time. It's about makes a change, doesn't it, really? I hope you guys are okay. I'm um, actually on time. I should just put that laptop back on there a little yeah, bit. Yeah, on time. It's about makes a change, oh. doesn't it, really? <clears throat> I've got my little I mini... I hope you guys are okay. I'm actually on time. I've got my little there. mini yeah, um, three-drawer chest here, which usually has all my PC stuff on it my printer and that but at the moment because everything's all over the place it's got my laptop on it <laughs> and i use my laptop with all this chat everything so oh well, i'm just knocking everything over here there we go just get myself sorted that's better so i'll be able to see the chat so who we got we got carl good evening we got dave good evening we got alex trains following hello good evening liverpool trains good evening how you doing what's the stream guys right so I can take it that my um, audio sounds okay. Um, right. So it's Good Friday Eve, as they say. Whew. So it's been a bit of a meh day to day. It's been really crap weather down here today. Um, it's not raining now. It's more showery than anything, but it's supposed to be clearing up um, for another rainy day tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Um, so yeah, just a, just a quickie, and I completely forgot, again, on Tuesday to mention it, I've really got to, whenever I do those type of streams, I've got to m mention that basically Dovetail gave me the key for uh, Five Circle, and again, really big thanks to them. I put it in the description of the video, but not many people read that. So, um, yeah. But tonight is going to be Root Lucky Dip. But just a, a little bit of a postscript on Tuesday stream. I said that I wouldn't buy this at full price, the five circle route, and I won't. But I would buy it at, at sale. Doesn't mean that I don't like it. I do like it, but I just, I was just not a little. I was not happy with the route as it is current state as it is. Um. The 170 was good. The modelling of the stations is good. I did, my, my main thing was the timetable, which I think the timetable was uh, was lacking. Um, I don't know if that's a freight coming through. Sounds like it. Oh, no. Dosto. Um, so, yeah, but that's, you know, that's entirely down... Um, That's entirely down for me. Anyway, anyway, there is an update for Fife Circle Line in the works. This will include... Now, there's no date as when it will happen. Um, more, more info will be given, I think, on when the next roadmap is, which is April the 9th, not next week, the week after. So... If you haven't read it already, there's 33 new services added to the base layer to and from Edinburgh Waverley Cowden, uh, to Cowden Beef. To be honest, I would have preferred that they had some ECS moves in there. Um, there's a layer with six rail tour services using the Flying Scotsman Loco, Mark 1 and Mark 2 coaches and the Blackpool Large Logo 47. Don't know why they don't have an Intercity one as well, but hey-ho. There's also a layer with two rail tour services using the Black Jubilee with Mark 1 coaches. Uh, apparently, there'll be many other improvements included, but that's a definite stuff that we can share right now. Uh, we'll share more news as soon as we know more, both about included fixes and a time frame for the updates. We'll provide an update for you in the April 9th roadmap. And there you go. Um, uh, apparently, um, I got an email apparently saying that I'm live. Nice. Okay. Right. So, shall we get on? Oh, let's catch up with the chat and say hello to some people. Oh, another train coming in. Um, your major issue is the loading of the fourth bridge on Xbox. Yeah, I haven't seen the video, but I... Oh, look. We've got someone else coming in as well, look. I have gathered... or oh, I gather that the... Um, it loads the bridge in, then it loads the actual metalwork. 
Um, so yeah. Oh, you go to Reddit. Ah, you're going up to Reddit. Yeah, it's Bank Holiday Monday. Uh, Bank Holiday Friday. So there's not really a lot of stuff about, really. Well, it's definitely not hardly anything down our area. Um, hello, Evan. How are you doing, mate? 30 quid is too much for the route. Tom Table is too dated, too dead. And the scenarios are really cool. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the scenarios, to be honest. Um, I just think that's... Yeah, they're not very... The scenarios have been pretty poor, to be honest. Um, hi, Mr. Rosegale. Hi, Sabine. How you doing? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't... Personally, I wouldn't buy it. I will buy it, but I'll, I'd wait for sale. I'd wait for a sale. Um, yeah, and it's, it's, it's all fine, well and good coming from me, I hear people say, because I get it free of charge. But at the end of the day... I will probably still, if I have my Xbox, I'd probably still buy, wait for a sale on that. Um, but yeah. You're doing a photo scenario now. I actually, um, <laughs> which is quite funny, when I looked at the PlayStation version, uh, it would have been about this time last week, the week after, no, a couple of days later, Sunday, I think it was. Um, I had an early build on the PlayStation and, um, yeah, I stood up out the seat on the fourth bridge because I wanted to go out walking on the fourth bridge and um, I fell through the bridge, which was quite funny because I was walking on the seabed. <laughs> and you can walk for miles on that seabed. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so without further ado, so that's all the gubbins out the way. There is an update coming at some point. So, but I would have preferred that they had the AI um, 801s in there. Right. So, someone going to type stop in the chat. Five circle line has been added to the um, two thing. Oh, Carl says stop. Right, let's get one. Oh, okay. Um, just a quick thing as well. Rapid Transit 2017 and Cane Creek um, have been removed from the, the, the routes to drive, basically because they're, they're just, like, boring. Right, so we are driving the first route. It's Great Western Express 2015 which is awesome. And I'm just going to... Is it going to be service or scenario? What do I think of the Class 170? Hi, Samuel. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, I like the 170. Um, I had a few trips from Eastleigh to Reading on them and vice versa. And, um, yeah. Um, the one in the game, I think, is well detailed, well modelled. Sounds okay. Um, right, um, are we going to be doing service scenario or journey? Let me go and grab one out. What have we got? Because we're not doing free roam anymore because we don't get any more points for it. So, right, what have we got? We've got a timetable service. Right, okay, let's get going. Rather, why are you rather annoyed? Right, let's have a sip of that. Right. So, Great Western Express got put in time out for 24 hours for no reason. On whose um, who's stream? Evan, can't wait for a transporter, train spotter from... Oh, yeah, I think he's already said stuff about it. Mm. 
one of your mates, he has a moderator, and that moderator is someone I hate. Well, unfortunately, there's not much you can really do about that, I'm afraid. Right. Original release. Um, what 66 services are there? Um... Oh, that's wrong. Why has it done that? Because I'm an idiot. Um. Yeah, these are all early in the morning ones now, aren't they? I'm not doing those, they're only five minutes. Bristol Terminal to Felixstowe Intermodal. I think we can do that one. Um, we're not going to do dynamic weather. It might be a bit dark. I drove fast. You mean, Mister? I'll never buy or play X, Y, Z. Then goes off and does it anyway, and talk actual, yeah, no actual bite. Yes. Hi, Ben. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, that Sam, there's really nothing much, nothing much you can do. He's going to be a bit of a dickhead. Let him do it. Um, oh, night time for the thingy. Um, make sure. Yeah, had a feeling that would happen. This is my model, my my um, creator club. Because I think it's either the East Coastway, it is the East Coastway version. What happens is, is that the um, the headlight, the uh, tail lights on the front end, um, come on. Uh, everything's on there, and we are what? Um, we are thousands, really eleven hundred tons. Hi William, how you doing? How, you, how are you all guys? Whew. I, I, yesterday was a bit of a bad day for me. I just, I guess the grief's kicking in. Um, it, I, I just didn't have a good day. Um, I literally did nothing. I just moped around all day. Got to take the brakes off. <laughs> um, yeah, um, just getting a little bit of regret on everything, and yeah, just a bit of a bad day. Um, not too bad today. I still didn't oh, want to do a lot today. Um, My niece came down and say hello to me anyway today, which is pretty cool. Do you think I shall buy a Hornby Model Rail 66? Um, yeah, you can if you want. If, if it's what you want to do, then go for it. This is the second route you bought in your TSW career. Uh, it's one of the best. It's a little bit dated now, but keep an eye out because 
when the HOA Cargo Line Volume 2 pack is released from Skyhook Games, this will be getting scenarios and more freight services on it. Um, we all have them days, yeah. Um, not too bad. Thanks for trying out the scattered spare scenario on the five circle. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a big fan of the, the the scenarios at the moment that are coming out. They're just. I don't like them too well. Um, am I tired, Sabine? I've the last six months have been um, pretty bad for me. I lost my mum. Lost my job as a carer. And I lost the house, which I've recently moved out of, which I've now moved into my flat. Um, and, it, oh, damn. It's all catching up with me at the moment. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's It's been a stressful six months. Hi, Connor. Uh, Hentis or Tony will do. It don't make no difference to me, Sam. Um, Mark, hi. How are you? Uh, so are you going to build your train layout um, now? Watching darts. I want to give you support. Awesome. Um, I've got I've got a lot of other stuff to do at the moment. First thing I need to get is my PC up um, sorted. Um, currently, my PC is still packed away. I'm on my laptop at the moment. Um, and um, currently I'm on my laptop um, and I'll be on that until I get a computer desk I order a computer desk um I don't know when that's going to be. I'm kind of hoping it's going to be tomorrow. Um, and then I can... The reason why I think, well, what has Model Railway's got to do with the computers? Well, my computer is my spreadsheet for my, what I call my locomotive maintenance spreadsheet. And I bought, recently bought four four new locos, uh, 58, a 33, a 2 HST power cars, and the Flying Scotsman. So those locos have to be run in, and um, I have to do a, what do they call it, um, service on them, because I always do. Anything new, I always do a service, just check to make sure they, they, they're, they're good runners. Um, and that spreadsheet is on my main PC. Um, so I've got to get that up and running before I get the rolling road and the power controller all set up um, and run the locos and do a service on them. Um, No, they they haven't said anything about freight yet, Ben. Um, all they said it's thirty three services for Edinburgh to Cowden Beef and Cowden Beef to Edinburgh. Uh, Flying Scotsman with the Blackpool forty seven rail tour services and the Jubilee Black Five or the Black Jubilee, sorry. Um, and that's it but there's other stuff as well to be honest the only freight that runs on there is colas and we don't have any colas we don't have any colas thingies um you started yourself a new little project oh that's cool william i reckon trains in world should have the cross-country trains because um, 
the cross country can run on five circle in Edinburgh. They don't have the license. So they don't have the license. They can't, you know what I mean? They can't do it. Um, still patiently waiting for your serviceable. Oh, you're actually scale 50. Which absolutely isn't purely for show. And little and large shots at Gala's honest governor. Oh, oh, oh dear. Nice. Um, you know what? That'd be quite cool. Um, I've actually got. Having said that, I've got a, um, a Hornby model. It's brand new. Um, of sixty-six seven nine. Is it seven nine three? The GB rail freight. The the rail freight materials sixty-six. I mean, it looks awesome to be honest. Connor. I am now going to warn you one time. Stop with the announcements, okay? Because you're detracting me from the stream, okay? This is your last warning. Stop it, or you get timed out. Simple as. I don't mind normal chat like what everyone else is doing, but when you just keep coming up with announcements all the time, she's going then it starts to get annoying that's your last warning your first and last don't do it again i keep telling you this every time you come in and you don't listen that's your first and last warning all right us oh, yeah what well, i think it's 793 that i've got Um, but yeah, that was that was on the GBRF charity stand at um, Swanage Railway last uh, the Diesel Gala last year. Whether I buy, I don't know. I really don't know. I might. I, oh, it's oh, it's so tempting to do something like that again. But I also, what did I buy there last year? I think the year before I bought the the flame cut number panel data panel from a 317 last year i bought the dra from one of the cat the i can't remember what the unit was 317 I, I can't remember so i'm just wondering i might buy a traction motor for a 317 if they've got them um yeah ben my, my net my aim is to go to um this year's swanish gala I might go both days on on Friday and Saturday. I don't know. Saturday will be hectic, but we'll see. Good evening there, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Whichever one you did in LD is the one you bought the model of. I think it might have been 793. I can't remember what's this one. Yeah, that's cool. Just don't, just don't do it, Connor. All right, it just gets annoying and distracting, which means I've met my my mod, or I have to just um, manually remove the comment. You accidentally bought a three six five C. Awesome. Oh, plus I also I found it. It's in one of my boxes. I've got to find it again. It's actually in with the DRA and the flame cut number panel of the 317 and the data panel of 59003 that I've got. Um, I think it was a 319 manual. Was it 319 or 321? I think it might... Oh, I can't remember. Hmm... 
We've got first charter passing through Devon. Oh, cool. We've got a uh, charter leaving on Saturday, which is uh, 47 and 57311 in loco in the locomotive services, the, the black livery. How do you buy a class 365 seat? <laughs> yeah. Nice to see class 43 HST in Scott Rail. Free paint job with some service. I don't have a 350. There's no 350 on air. Finger slipped. <laughs> The um, the charter leaves here about five to six Saturday morning. I won't be going out to see it. I mean, to be honest, if I'm up, I can go and look out my balcony and I can see it pass. But I I don't know. <laughs> I could actually do that. Get up. Get up and wake up at half past five. I'll be absolutely knackered though Saturday night because I'm going, I will be going to see it come in as Saturday and it'll be about midnight or just after it's coming in. So, um, yeah. You can either add real life routes or your own makeup ones, yeah. You're designing your own train simulator. Interesting. If I did buy a seat for a train, i use it as a gaming chair oh hell yeah it'd have to be um a 442 seat i think for me the only thing i didn't like was the mock air on it it was too I, I found sometimes like when you've been working or traveling a lot and i find this especially on the mark one coaches and you it's hot and you get sweaty hi matty and um basically your tires you're weary and i just find sometimes the the moquette on the seats for the mark one coaches especially the slam door stock it, you know what i mean it was prickly it just it just annoyed the hell out of me connor Yeah, Evan, it's the Paul Canterbury tour. I don't know really what other tours we've got. I know, I think we've got some 50s down here at some point. Um, we've got the 69 and D6512 going to Swanage with the 4TC um, Jurassic thingy. Um, at some point. This is route lucky dip, basically. I don't even know what I'm, I'm driving.
Um, yeah. I th I don't think it's the mock I don't think it's the pattern. It's it's the material that they use. And that is that cuz I I get I suffer from eczema as well. So if you suffer from eczema and you get hot and you get sweaty because you're in a hot carriage, then it just start it just starts off my irritating me. Um you're thinking of going to Swanage Diesel Gala as they got the 69 come in. You hope the R red one or the six nine zero five in BR green or Mayflower. Um, well, we've just had uh, Western Consort down on Tuesday. That came through on um, uh, four eight five, four five eight run from Wembley down to um, Bournemouth. But they're only now, they, they do these runs, they're putting one loco on instead of doing it top and tail. So top and tail, they used to go as far as Bournemouth and then they change ends and go into Bournemouth Depot. But now they're only putting one loco on and it goes literally down to pool, runs round and then goes into Bournemouth, drops a unit off, gets the other unit, um, gets onto the other unit, comes back down to pool runs round and um, goes back up to Eastley. Um, what do I think of the class 65, the 68? I quite like 68. I love the sound of it. Yeah, and it's quite nice. We've had a few of those down here last year. Um, proudly say you've cabbed 1001 i haven't cabbed that one but i've cabbed um a hastings unit in years ago um it's <laughs> a 69 yay um if you could own any train what would it be oh my god um If I could own anyone, no one's ever asked me that before. Um, you know what? That is not as easy question to answer as it sounds, because there's so many locos that I like. There's so many like you know. I'm more of a loco person than obviously I like the four four twos. I like you know the seventies. I like a lot of locos. What one would I own, though, if I could? Um, it definitely wouldn't be a kettle. Um, I think it would have to be a 58 or a 56. But what one would you guys own? Uh, you're currently driving the ICE 630 run Munchen to Hamburg. Oh, nice. We could be doing that at some point. Um, I've no idea what routes we're driving tonight. Quite impressed to see that we're actually doing Great Western Express. Um, Samuel, if I'm adding real routes... Um, I'd add Tyne and Weir Metro, so I'm keeping an eye on the signals. Um, you're adding um, Tyne and Weir Metro from South Hinton to Newcastle Airport. Nice. Don't it go into pool service signs in both directions? Yes. Yep. But because it's top and tail, where it, where it used to be top and tail, it just went to, to Bournemouth, well, Branksome, and then they drove it into the depot. Um, for, me, for me, it would be a 350, a 507, or your dinner's arrived, just got Domino's pizza, lovely. Large lasagna pizza and loaded fries, ooh, nice. Um, Laser Jet would be would own a forty-seven or fifty-five. Liverpool trains would be a three fifty, 
507 or 508. Nice. A Deltic, I think, would be great, but it'd be pretty expensive if the engine goes. Well, it'd be pretty expensive on any locomotive if the engine goes, to be honest. To be an ICE 628. Evan, coming up on the year since you cab 313209. Is that the blue one? Um, you'll also add Great Western Express from Paddington, Bristol Temple Meads. Nice. You'll also, um, that Dave Randall Truro is your nearest main city centre to you. Ah, right. Yes, you're down in um, Devon. You could maybe drive Castle, William Slow, Würzburg. Um, I could drive any route within the game apart from Cane Creek and Rapid Transit 2017 because they're not in here. Um, I've got every single route that I have on in the game. I have a little post-it note, slip of paper in a black bag. This is where I turn around and say someone type stop in the chat because my hand is going around in that bag fondling all the... Uh, I know that's a weird word to say. Fondling all the uh, the routes the root the, the bits of paper when someone says stop i grab a bit of paper and whatever i grab whatever route it is on there i drive it um you have cabbed the class 507 awesome 201 was a blue one all oh, right okay oh are we why are we slowing down oh we're going up here Did I just... <sighs> Did I just TPWS myself? Gotta wait for the brake to come off. Right, hold on, what we got? That gives me time to catch up. Trail one was a blue one. You cab the 507 and you make the train planet star animation wise and graphic wise. Nice. Um, we've been rip off with the cream egg cookies. Domino's do two cookies, but for 6 99 never again. Ouch. If you personally like to own one of the rail cars that are drivable living in the US, I think people sometimes do that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, basically what, what to do with the, how we do, um, I'll, oh, oh man, I don't have anything there. Where's it? I think I must have missed the, the DSD. Let me just switch that off. My brakes might release. They ain't releasing, are they? There we go. 
Brakes are released. Um, yeah, so basically, I'll, when, when I come to choose another route, I'll just be swindling my hand around in the old bag of routes. I'll say, someone type stop in the chat. So whoever types it at that point, I'll say stop, I'll see it, stop, pull route out, and whatever that is, that's it. Um, I think I got, um, I got a silent DSD alarm. Um, Epic, how are you? Welcome to the stream. You wonder why the community wants a 309, 310, 312, slam doors, DC4, rep, 4 zap, 4 sig, big, VEP. I find American electric multiple units easy to run in their UK versions. 4 reps equals M3. Problem is, a lot of people don't like the American routes and they prefer the old southern region slam door stuff. The 4 reps were awesome. 4 reps were absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, not everyone wants American stuff. You know, I don't mind it. And if you, if I get the choice to run American multiple unit up against a uh, uh, slam door stock, slam door stock will win with me every time. Uh, this is Great Western Express Liverpool trains, by the way. Um, it was slowing down because you've got the brakes on. I didn't put the brakes on though. That's the thing. The um, the yellow warning light over in the bottom right here. Bottom, bottom right corner came on and I acknowledged it and I started slowing down um, yeah um, he chokes stop he picks the route then in the hand in his hand and selects yep that's the one uh, I think we uh, chilling for now yeah 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 we, we um, that red light concerns me it's no the other one um Yeah, that's cool. Liverpool trains is it's, it's appreciated. Thank you. It's pretty cool. Um, I usually stream on Thursdays and Saturday nights. Um, I mean, even if you don't see the live stream, you can always catch up with it, catch on. But you can always catch up with it if you wish. You know, and watch it at your leisure. Um, I mean, I may go off on a rant at some point. <clears throat> that's the red light that I was seeing. Reading across. Uh. I'm on NEC Trenton and have NS gondolas in a siding. It's interesting. Um, you got to wait until they say he's type stop. <laughs> yeah, not just yet. Not just yet. Right, so we're, what, 2.8 miles away from West Drayton. Yeah, so if you're still there, Nicky, um, I will be looking at, at some point, at... Um, when the PC's all sorted out, I will be get because I've, I've got a Hornby rolling road, which is um, because I don't have um, uh, an overall section of track anymore um, because I had to sell the baseboards. Um, then basically, I will do a fifteen-minute test either way on moderate speed on the rolling road, so it's going to look weird. Just um, running the uh, flying scotsman um <laughs> the flying scotsman loco <laughs> no sorry the flying scotsman tender because it's it's tender driven um and no steam loco on it but i will have a length of track set up just as basically i can just have a, a just give them a, a little bit of a a slow drive along the along the floor um it won't be um it will be on a, a length of a plank a couple of planks of wood it'd be about 16 20 foot long length of wood that i'll have the track on and it's just basically a test track that i can run stuff so just you know just literally just set it up and run it 
Um, but that'll only come out at certain points. Uh, just give them a little bit of a run. But yeah, the rolling road will just do good for the time being. Just just to run them in. Um, I'll service them. Just put a bit of oil on them. Make sure they relatively seem okay. And then I've got to go through all the other locomotives because they've not been used for over six months. Um, what was July? Oh, when was the last service I did on them? It was probably back in July, August. So I've not used them since before September. Um, NYE in New York City scenario. Oh, nice. That's appreciated. Any, any, you know, it's it's awesome. As and when, thank you. So the other thing, I've I've got to get a computer desk as soon as possible because I've got to get my tax, my tax thing, filled out for Google because. I've changed my address. I've got to change my tax. It's all got to go cha be changed on my tax form. So I've got to do that sooner than later. Right. I'm not sure we're due to see any um, any other freights. We could do. Um, what is my favourite train in real life? I've got loads of locos that I like. L you know, loco classes, um, the 58s, the 60s, the 67s, 68s, 70s, uh, 88s, 69s. Yes, I said 69. Um, 47s Deltics. I like a lot of locos, a lot of classes of locos. Uh, the, the 465s, the 442s, the, the, the slam door stock. I, I just got so many. Um, I kind of have a heart, soft heart for the 33s, 47s, and 58s, and the 56s. So, yeah, it just doesn't stop, it just goes on. <laughs> um, in the game, I quite like 395, um, which is the um, South Eastern High Speed Javelin. Um, the 801, yeah, I quite like that. Ooh. We need new intermodal wagons oh i i, I you know i'm, I'm an all-rounder me i i just like a lot of, i just like any trains i mean i i've i was brought up on a daily a daily feast of class 47s and 33s the odd 73 as well thrown in um, this is going back into the 80s um, and that was before we then got the 442s and the Wessex electric units then they got cascaded to Bournemouth uh, to Portsmouth route Waterloo to Portsmouth and then we had slab door stock um, so yeah it was it was quite nice and now we just get an elliptical mix of anything going i mean you know we've had 56s down here 69s 88s 68s 57s 47s 37s 67 we haven't had 67 in a while we haven't had 60s in over a decade we probably won't be having them at all now um we've had the 50s down so we've had the 40 last year 45 um so yeah you know it's a it's a fair amount of traffic that we have had uh locos that we have had down here so yeah your friend said they have the 158 oh they hate the class 158 it's old oh well <laughs> you know i i think to be honest though i think that if you're brought up in an area 
where there is only like of the 158s running and there's no freight there's no overhead electric there's no third rail you don't see any locos and you just see the one class type of train every day day in day out and it's the 158 you don't get any other class of loco or train along that route i can understand that definitely understand that have i been to acton bridge is acton bridge um on the west coast main line or am i thinking something wrong something else so uh, we are approaching Southall. Yeah, no, I've been through it a few times. I've been up at the West Coast Main Line a few times, so um, yeah, I've been been through there a few times. It's good to get a lot of freight going through there off the West Coast Main Line, which is pretty cool. I'd love to go to um, Crewe at some place, but it's everything's just so expensive to get to now. I've got to try and justify going there. I mean, this year I'm probably going to do Eastleigh a few times. Um, I definitely want to do London. I'm. Uh, I can't really say what I. I may well do Chatham again. Um, have to wait and see on that. Um, but I think I'm on my birthday in June. I might go off to London for a day. But the weird thing is, <laughs> the weird thing is though, I know, I know it's going to sound so weird, and you're thinking what. <laughs> I don't have to worry about getting back here early because of my mum. I mean, because if you didn't know, I was a carer for my mum and I always had to get back here before like eight or nine o'clock at night so that I could get her sorted and get her ready for bed and all that. Um, but I'm not restricted to do that now. So in, in theory, I, I could go up to London, do a full day spot, stay up in London overnight and come back some point in the afternoon the next day sort of thing um, and not have to worry. Um, I can always do that, but Oh, don't. Now I panicked when I saw that red light. Yeah, it's an experience. I mean, I went to Dovetails ambassador event last year just a couple of weeks before my mum died and i didn't know that was happening um and i was up literally five o'clock in the morning to catch i think it was about nearly just just after seven o'clock train to london um and then i didn't get back home till just after midnight got my mum to bed got myself sorted and by, and by one o'clock, I was in bed. She got me up once during the night. But then I woke up five o'clock the next morning. 
Um, to then go back up to London and Chatham again for the next day. Oh, no, 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 no we are. We're going to spad. Don't, don't spad, don't spad, don't spad. Please don't, please don't. You are, you are. No. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, no worries. No worries. That's my fault because I'm not concentrating. Um, right, okay, so. Um, it was timetable service, wasn't it? Right, okay. That was a bit of a bugger. It's not a stream if I don't spad. So don't feel bad that it's bad. <clears throat> Evan does it all the time. Right. Okay. Next route. Someone <laughs> type stop in the chat. Anyone? Doesn't matter who. Oh, there you go. Liverpool train says stop. Oh, God. We are driving Cajon Pass. Ooh, haven't driven that one for a while. Or as I would say, Cajun Pass. So we're doing a bit of American jobs. Yeah, you only need to type it once. Right, and what are we going to be driving? Service scenario or journey? It's going to be interesting. No, that's fine. So that, oh, we're doing a scenario. <laughs> that's going to be interesting. Scenario on Cajon Pass. Right. It's been a while since we've driven Cajon. Some water on it, on Where are you, Cajon Pass? There you are. Now we've got another eight scenarios to do. Let's have a look. Oh my God. Horn on the 4th of July. That's a 30 minute one. We'll do that. Those hills are a tad spicy. <laughs> Definitely on that one. I think this is the F7. The Santa Fe one. Good evening and happy 4th of July. Tonight we've made, it's got a special fireworks display at Barstow Yard where you'll be bringing in the Art Deco American classic, the MDF7. Let's go set it up. I'm going to turn my turn the noise down in my ears because it's it's quite loud. Set the generator filter on. Set the reverser handle, which is there. Set the reverser to forward. Series parallel. Um, we're four, aren't we? So. Let's get the Seth 7 to the celebrations. We've got a lot of rail fans there. So let's give them a good show. Take it slow through the yard and lay on the horn a bit before coming to a stop. Okay. Uh, just make sure. That sounds all right to me. Um, what was that? Cab light. Headlights bright on. Is 
independent breaks the fall. Always forget where the independents are. Not very long, are you? Right. Yeah, that is moving. You don't really see it much, to be honest. Right, shall we go? Apply a small bit of throttle. And we'll take the independent off. What's the maximum you should go on 2200 HD magnet? I've no idea. You're asking me? We don't really need a throttle because we're going down a grade. Uh, it depends on what route I get. I, su I suspect there will be, you know, the the, the the 182 might come out at some point, but I don't know. It 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 depends on what route. I'm governed on what I drive by what routes I pick out. This is the whole idea of the stream. I don't know what route I'm going to drive and at that point I still won't know what um, um, what loco service whether it's going to be passenger freight whatever 17 miles What's it like being a moderator for the chat? It's not that cheap, steep. Um, basically, all the mods do is just moderate, basically. Like what we had with Connor, he was told to stop, and I haven't seen him on here. He might still be on here, I might not be. He might be timed out, I don't know. And they, they just, the, the moderators and me have certain actions that we can do so we can time people out from five minutes to 24 hours and those those time out so if i was to time you out for an hour then time you out another 24 hours basically you'll be timed out for 25 hours yeah the moderators they help literally yeah they, they i mean the thing the the, the thing is 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 like um Um, so my chain's a bit tight. Um, so I get in my streams. Basically, my streams are monetized, which means I can earn money. And how I see it is that I'm doing this, putting this so that you're entertained. And how the mods operate, they're there basically so all i have to do is concentrate on the stream and talk to you guys and respond to you know some of your questions and that and the mods if there's someone like just messing about the thing is what they do they're causing hassle on that in my stream and sometimes it turns people away from watching the stream um and if that t if, if people are being disruptive in my stream it means some people are turning away because i'm not concentrating on what i'm doing the mods are there to s stop me from literally doing that they can obviously i've had to step in a couple of times tonight but the mods are there to to 
to moderate basically and they're 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 like my other set of hands um and what happens is if someone's disruptive in the stream it can be the point where it my stream is suffering because i'm having to deal with idiots so to speak so because of that it's affecting my monetization so when it starts affecting my monetization it means the money that i get if i get any then starts getting less and trust me i don't get a lot of money um Yeah, literally, they'll, they'll, well, like, yeah, they'll, the, the, you know, the guys will sort, what the hell? That's not a French name. The guys will sort, sort of stuff out. I've got, oh, I've got three or four mods. There's usually one or two mods on at a time. In an ideal situation, in an ideal world, sorry, yeah, that's that's the case. You know, you shouldn't have to have mods, but there are people that they have a. There are people that have an agenda, um, you know, and I'm not going to play with their agenda. Yeah, but you know. In an ideal world, it'd be brilliant, you know, all fluffy ponies and fluffy bears, nice cotton clouds, pink skies, whatever, unicorns flying around the place. In an ideal world, we'd all be rich and not have to go out to work. Yeah, that's not the real world. That's an ideal world. Yeah, I've had that a few times, server raids and that, and you get some people, it's just, you know what I mean? It's, it's, I think one of the things was as well is that I, I had server raid and out of that server raid I made a fair bit of money because people were donating. I was just like, Pff. this was a hostile server raid, but they were donating. It was all, and the thing was, it was all the crap that was coming up, all the political stuff and everything. I said, look, I said, you can, you can donate as much as you like. I said, but as you stop donating, then you'll just get kicked. So keep donating. I think out of it, I made about hundred quid. So yeah, you know. But when it all starts doing that, I mean, the mods are there. They'll try and do as best they can. But when you get server raided, it just gets a little bit. You know, there's not really much you can do. Um, yeah, you know, it's just it is annoying, but you can try to do as much as you want but at the end of the day i think 95 percent of the time i get the choice when i um when i come to do the well, i call it the write-up and i get all the streams sorted out the next the following day i can i get the choice of whether i want to include the chat um so basically when you do a replay whatever you're typing in there will come up in the chat replay tomorrow um, if I decide to include it so if I get stuff like that then I'll just basically there's there's really not much you can do uh, when you get server raided it's not so much of a thing these days um, and um, yeah you know you just you just try and deal with it the best you can not much you can do about it but when when the chat when the chat goes live i can then literally when i finish the the, the stream tonight i can private i can put the chat as private but well, not put the chat i can put the um the stream as private and then when i come around to sorting it out tomorrow we're gonna have another train coming down in a minute um I can um hold on a minute. I can then disable the chat so that no one has to read all that crap that they put on. 
Um, so at the end of the day, it's just a bit of a futile sort of thing. You know, they think they get their point, point across. They don't really. Yeah, there is that thing. And that is that is why is that basically we try to go through. I will pause the stream. I will pause the stream if that happens. And I will physically go there and sort so it, go through and try and time as much stuff out as possible. Um, and they'll get timed out for 24 hours. Um, and then basically the next day I will start the stream off again. But then the next day, literally, when I finish that stream that night, the... Um, it will be put as private so that no one can view it. I'll put an announcement on my uh, community pages about the stream, but the stream will then be live tomorrow, but it won't after I've sorted it out, but they won't have the chat. I won't put, I won't put the chat on there because it's just, yeah. So, but I, I just think they're just, they're just pathetic when they do that. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. You can't stop it. So you can do your best. It's like, um, you know, you can do your best at um, trying to time people out and everything. But yeah. three. Oh, I thought we were four. Yeah, we've got another train inbound. And you did not have perms to ban. Yeah, you just had to. Yeah, there's not really. You know, it is it, annoying when you're on the end of that. But there's not really much you can do about it, unfortunately. Oh, is there he is? What have we got? Intermodal. Oh, another grain train. Well, that's the third one we've had. We're going there, and I think we end up either in here somewhere, I think. You want to know how you know I like your streams? I don't know. Obviously, I, I guess if you like my streams, you keep coming back. Um, or are we talking like as in the little thumbs up like? longest you have watched a stream is three minutes oh wow well we've been here at least an hour so you must like it oh thank you it's appreciated um i do watch other people's streams as well um there's bradley's um i watch some of his stuff 
as and when I can. Uh, Dad Rail, uh, British Ace, and who is the other one? It's um, a train simulator driver. Oh, pretty tired today as well. Might not up a bit. Seventy-eight minutes. Wow. I, I don't know he don't usually do any streams does he he doesn't live stream as far as I'm aware he does um, he does his videos and I look at them and you know it's you know he, he obviously that that's his forte he critiques a lot he moans a lot um, about dovetails and you know stuff for trains in world and I mean the, the funny thing is he says he isn't going to get it he won't get it oh I'll get it for review purposes mm -hmm. so you got it then but I got it for review purposes yeah but you got it you said you weren't going to get it but I was going to get it for review purposes yeah but you got it you said you weren't going to get it you know and just like and he'll sit there and he'll just like he's he's, he's like the authority on trains in world it's like really are you oh, okay mm-hmm <laughs> Hello Bradley, how you doing? I think Bradley will be in here. You woke up at 7.30. Okay, I've been awake since 4. Trumped you on that one. Yeah, I'll probably be on here till about 11, I think. We'll see how it goes. What was it I was watching today? It just absolutely made me laugh. Oh, who's my friend Rory? Here he is. On, um, he does a lot of Gran Turismo stuff. And I used to uh, do a lot of Gran Turismo stuff. Um, uh, um, stream with him, not with him as in co-stream. Um. But um, yeah, I was watching his stream. We were chatting, and there's one of the videos that I watched. It, I just laughed. I just thought it was so funny. Okay, that's cool. I'll see you then. Henry, oh. welcome Hen Henry to the um, the server. So, as you can imagine, it's getting a tad dark. We've got three point nine miles to go.
should have another set of signals up there. Still under yellow. You think Star Trek comes back on the air next Thursday? Is that the final season of Star Trek Discovery? Or is it Strange New Worlds? Because I've yet to watch Strange New... I've got... I think it's Discovery Season 4 that I've yet to watch. I've got Season 4 and I've yet to watch it. I've also got Season 1 and 2 of Strange New Worlds to watch. I've finished a few weeks ago watching Picard season three, which was awesome. Um, and um, I've got Enterprise on um, Blu-ray to watch. Um, so I've got a fair bit of Star Trek to watch. But there again, I did like Star Trek Picard Season 1 and 2. But I thought 3 was the best. I think that's what Star Trek Picard should have been like, Season 1 onwards. Final season of Discovery, yeah. You've now been timed out for 24 hours, Connor, because you are still just putting down, you tried this, you tried that. And we've repeatedly told you not to, all right? So you're timed out for the rest of the stream. You've been warned, you've been told. I'm fed up of telling you, and you're just still doing it. You obviously fail to listen. Well, we've told him in the past to stop saying about the, the doing the the the, the um. Uh, the next train at this station is blah 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 this blah blah that because it's distracting me from the stream and he's been told not to do it and he's also been told not to do the um oh can you, you drive this can you drive that constantly he does it on, he's been doing it the last few weeks and i've got to stop so yeah i think this will go green but we'll see he's been told and i'm having to deal with this and i'm not dealing with the stream that should go green. Please go green. No, it won't. Yes, it has. Just gone yellow. So, I'm having to deal with this and ooh, fireworks over there. Look, and um, I'm, you know, I'm not dealing with. I'm not concentrating on the stream. He's been told to stop it, and he's carrying on. So, yeah. No, I give people a fair warning. And he's been told multiple times, and he just just chooses to, to ignore it. So he's now been timed out for a full 24 hours. Get it down to 30.
like the old red, white and blue. Uh, TS later Enterprise on DVD yes I've got TOS Enterprise Next Generation Deep Space Nine Voyager all on normal DVD um And I've got um, Enterprise Next Generation um, Discovery Strange New Worlds Lower Decks up to Season 3 Oh, I've got to stop there. Oh, okay. Um, Picard, Discovery. I've got the original Star Trek on normal DVD. I've not got the Blu-ray version. I'm not sure whether I will get the normal version. I've got too many DVDs as it is. I've got a box load of DVDs that I've got doubles on Blu-ray and I'm just getting rid of some of those DVDs box sets Alien I've got the Alien Quadrilogy on DVD as well as Blu-ray I've got I've got Star Trek the, ne the next generation films the Star Trek next generation films um, Generations First Contact and the other two I got them on 4K, and to be honest, can't tell the difference between 4K and standard Blu-ray. But I do love my Star Trek. Um, I did see. I, I know this is sound, this is going to sound very nerdy, and non-Star Trek people are going to think, "What on earth is he on about?" I did see a, a piece written the other day where they someone said a lot of fans are wanting a film, to, a next generation film to be made. Not so much featuring the next generation crew, but going back to a certain piece in Star Trek Next Generation history and a film being made around it. And that is the Battle of Wolf, Wolf three five nine. Um, that's where they engage the Borg from the best of both worlds, which is a cracking series. Now, to be honest, you don't really get to see a lot of the Battle of Wolf three five nine. The only bit where you do really get to see it is in um, Emissary, this, the pilot for Deep Space Nine um, and that sets the story for Benjamin Sisko of how he become the the station you know, leading into this Deep Space Nine station captain commander oh, excuse me oh. Oh. Um, and I agree there should be a film but it doesn't necessarily mean it stars this, the crew of the, the, the original Next Generation but it kind of has could have flashbacks with them uh, him being as the cutest but it's the build up of it from different perspectives from the thing uh, 387 208 made it to Southampton Central last Sunday for gauge testing and ramp clearance ahead of the June timetable change. 
which sees 387s get booked west of Littlehampton. Nice. Isn't that... <laughs> it, it, <laughs> I think I know what you're getting up there. No. That episode was Star Trek First Contact, the film. And that is the one where you see the Millennium, the, the, the new CGI version of the Millennium Falcon screaming out where the Borg ship explodes. And it is the Millennium Falcon from the, the, the revamped Star Wars um, when they were doing the remastered Star Wars. It's that revamped version, the CGI model that they used in the first contact. So, yeah, there is kind of a Star Wars crossover in Star Trek First Contact. I only found that out a few months ago. I all after all this time, how long has Star Trek First Contact been out? Over twenty five years? Well, twenty years. That is that is unbelievable. It's um, I think it who was it? Does it Doug Jane, Doug Jane or something like that? He actually put so as the Borg ship explodes. This is Star Trek First Contact, the film. As the ship explodes. Literally, the Borg ship explodes. You see, it's either just before it explodes, or just as it explodes, you see the Millennium Falcon streaking from left, no, from right to left side of the screen. And um, yeah, it's quite cool how you see it. So um, yeah, right. I'm just going to go and I'm going to have a quick drink, and then I'm going to go in for a P and B. Back in a minute. Oh. See in a second. Is it raining out there? Oh. Uh, not too bad. The lights are still on the patio. Patio? Um, oh, what do they call those things? I can't remember. Right. 
So, what route are we going to be doing next? Um, balcony, that's a word. Yeah, I can't remember. It's not patio, is it? It's balcony. I've got another two, what, to the April the 15th, I think it is. And then, basically, um, I won't have access to my balcony for two weeks because um, they're doing some sort of uh, repairs on it. I don't know what that is. Uh, right, someone type stop in the chat. Oh, what have we got? Oh, ah, I, I'm not going to do this. I've chosen Bakerloo, but... I have a problem with Bakerloo crashing. Um, I can't do Bakerloo, so yeah. I have a problem with it, it crashing for some strange reason. Um, just finished the run, waiting for the mission screen to show, and the game crashed on me. You guess your Xbox One doesn't like Castle. <laughs> oh dear, that's a bugger. Um, I've got to put, choose another route. Yeah, unfortunately, I had a problem the other day when it's a certain, for some strange reason, I've got a mystery. Um, I, I'll actually show you. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll pick a route. The... We'll go to Bakerloo because it's bloody annoying because I like Bakerloo. Um, hmm. The railroad. So if if I'm just to do a timetable, it's that one, isn't it? Right. Click on that, and then go to Creators Club. Lu seventy two. Apparently, that is that's a third party. What you call it? Um. And if I go to the store, no, where do I need to go to? My profile, uh, DTG Live I need to go to. L, remember, LU72. Let's click on that, online sharing hub. Continue. Search. L U. 72 confirm there's nothing there it's not it doesn't exist hi Polsky how you doing um So I, I don't I don't know. Um, the only other way I can look for, I'm not too bad. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, sorry, I don't need that. Um, let me just click on. Um, creators club right I'm, I'm this I'm doing this on the internet on my phone l u 72 go search you search for l u 72 nothing I don't know whose it is I I just cannot get rid of it now I can, I can do I can do Bakerloo but if it crashes I won't be coming back on so I'm kind of hoping it won't but yeah um
Yeah, it's it's to do with the um I want to do a Harrow and Wilston. Oh. Let's do. I want to do Harrow and Wilston. Um, let's do the nine thirty four. That one, two one zero dash five Harrow Wilston to Elephant and Castle. So we'll do that one, and I'm not going to do it on dynamic weather. Um, yeah, like clouds would do. Right. Right, so we're doing... Uh, I'll put Bakerloo. And it's... We do, we, we, we've got to do a timetable service. Um, then we'll go from there. If it does crash, and it's before half nine, well, I won't be going. Won't be doing starting the stream up again. Um, if it crashes, I mean, hopefully it won't, and we'll be fine. But I can't find that. Um, I can't find that 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 thing on on thingy. Right. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, we're not going to wait. Oh. I always forget that. And then drop the abyss. Doors open, okay. Uh, where are we going? We are going to um, Elephant Castle, isn't it? F seven and F eight does that. train coming up there's one coming down definitely
Yeah, it's on the 72 stock. It's called LU72. But I can't find it. It just does not appear on, on thingy. Nope, oh, how you doing with full trains? I did see you pop in. So by the looks of it, we are due a freight. But in theory, the freight train should both be on those sides, not on this side. Not the doors. Good to see that there's no one on my train. Ugh, get up there. Um, Cajon Pass. That's all you missed. Firework display at the end of it. Yeah, the Bakerloo line is really nice. I do enjoy it. I know there are some people that it's just the underground, they don't like it, but I did go through my spell of not liking it. But yeah, it's one of these routes that I just go to every now and then. It does have its problems where there's obviously passengers do not get on. Payday franchise. That's fair enough. Open your eyes, it will help. Yeah, TSW is all right. I mean, it does have its problems, but, you know, stuff isn't thingy. And obviously this latest release of Five Circle Line and all that. But, I mean, my personal opinion is I wouldn't have released Fife as it was. But there again, I'm not boss of the company, you know. I'm not really worried about timing and all that on here. Just I'm never ever going to be early on the underground. Such as maybe the time we're Metro Live, time where. So you'll love it. 
We are going from Harrow and Wilston to Elephant and Castle. Yes. On the London Underground Bakerloo line. That there is the West Coast Main Line. And we may or may not see some freight running along it. put the 68 on the Bakerloo line we don't have a 68 in here 66 Well, it would have to be because we don't have a 68 in here yet. My GBRF grey job. put the SD40 on there, it fell over. <laughs> nice. So there should be one on the way down at some point. Which, looking at this, you can't tell because there's nothing there. I will bid you a farewell, a good night, just in case this does crash. And um, just to say that Saturday will be my next stream, 19.30. Um, yeah, I'm having a bit of a weekend off. So Friday, I'm off to see Ghostbusters film. Um, Saturday, I'm not sure what I'm doing, apart from doing a stream in the evening. Sunday, just, just chillaxing. And then Monday, I may well be doing a stream in the afternoon. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Used to play train sim. Used to go to random stations and hop on cargo trains. Yeah, I've done that before. gets on and off my train.
Wembley Central. Transition world, hobo mode, hop on moving trains and go for a ride. Yeah. Have I ever had candy kittens? Um, no, I haven't had real kittens. Main reason why I switched over to Payday 3 is because how well the game is optimised. Um... I have a gaming laptop and it barely runs TSW, but Payday 3 just runs fine. Isn't Payday 3 an old, an older game? Oh, payday. For, oh, okay. I'm thinking about one of the other paydays then. Sorry. Right, I suspect this train will be running down. Freightliner one. Yeah, Freightliner 66, not sure what one though. Don't think it's one of mine. Although I've done one or two of them, the green ones. PRTC, Princess Royal Distribution Centre. Wembley Stadium is there.
so love to see West Coast Mainline from Houston to Birmingham in here. What class? Well, Pendolino um, and the 350. Probably have the 345 as DLC. Obviously, a number of range of 66s. been a while since we've done Bakerloo to be honest there's the other freight train So you can see why I get distracted because it's like, like looking at the trains going by. <laughs> Once a spotter, always a spotter. Have you guys seen the latest Train Sim World video, promotional video that they've done? where they go back to like all the pre they look at quickly look at all the previous train simulators that come around i think that's the southern bell um what else um microsoft train sim trains um and earlier ver and, and train sim classic This here is a freight line. Because if you look, where is it? That there is the bit of track that goes across. So occasionally you do see trains whizzing along there. See what's on shed. EWS is booked. We are now approaching Wilson at breakneck speed. Playing Train Simulator Classic. Oh, awesome. Well, if you have Southampton to Bournemouth route, that is my local line within Train Sim Classic. Oh, look at this. Rules in the high level. 47's down there, look.
Yeah, four four fours and four fifties are my local units. Although we've got seven oh ones on test down here as well. I do believe we might get to see the the the, the 438 Yeah, unfortunately it stops at Bournemouth, um, which my station is Poole, which is three stations further west. I kind of hope this is what they're going to make for Train Sim World, is the Bournemouth to, Southamp Bournemouth to Southampton, but extend it easily to Poole. That'd be awesome. I mean, you'd have to extend it to Eastley. you got the freight yard there for a start. The amount of AI trains you can have starting and stopping at, you know, um, that go to the docks and vice versa. Not only that, you've got the freight liner terminals, so... You can have AI trains because what they do a lot of the time now with Freightliner is they they run them either from the docks or from the maritime container terminal, um, and the drivers run up to Eastley, and then there's a crew change. So that would play instantly, brilliantly into how trains in world would work with the freight. And occasionally there there'd be like engineers trains down to pool sort of thing. So, you know, that's the idea. I think that would make a case is is that you extend it to pool, you've then got the depot at Bournemouth, so you can do ECS runs from pool to Bournemouth, which happens, or from Bournemouth to, to uh, from Bournemouth to Branksome, which then it will reverse into Bournemouth depot. You've got the northern depot, which you'll be able to run services to northern, um, which some do run to northern ECS. So especially stuff running from ECS twelve coach four fifties three car, three four car. Um, class 450s and they don't stop it easily they'll just go all the way through so that'll be AI I do have a Discord server um, this seems a bit weird that oh hold on a minute what's going on here okay um can you, Carl, can you put the link for the Discord server up, please? If you know it. If not, I'll have to find it on here. Give me two seconds, I'll get it. There you go. Thanks, Carl. Appreciate it. So the main line is passing through the shed. That's awesome. 
lucky because sometimes this will be a green signal that one will be a red and you don't see it till last minute Um, it's invalid, is it? Oh, that's interesting. Um, two seconds. Did we just get, I swear we did. Yeah, look. We had the 1938 stock. Right, two seconds. What route is it for Train Simulator Classic? I have no idea. Um, bear with me. Let me see if I can get a... Uh, hopefully this is... The server. Try this one. Um, it's not on there, isn't it? Try this one. I don't know if this route is available on Train Simulator Classic. So you've got the green and green for go. Kilbourne Park is next. There's another freight train going above us. I'm currently, um, regarding going back to Star Trek, I'm currently watching um, Voyager on my other TV in the other room. Um, mainly the fact, Maid of L is next, um, that um, they're not Blu-rays, they're just standard DVDs, so my 4K player, for some strange reason, will not play standard DVDs, which it should be able to. Not working, but it's all right. Okay, I'll sort it out at some point. I'll get a new, um, a new what you call it link.
I don't know why it's not working. I've got to sit down and sort all my my Nightbot stuff out and other bits as well for the stream. If you drop me a comment when this video goes up tomorrow, if you drop a comment on it, um, not in the chat, but an, a, an actual comment, I'll try and get, because I'm going to be on the laptop tomorrow, I'll try and get a, um, a, um, a link. Hi, Sam. Uh, you, isn't it? Um... Yeah, I don't know. Nightbot should be working, and I've not seen it. I'll have to, again, um... I'm kind of looking at, um, I'll probably pop over ta in the town first thing tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon I'll have a film on, but I've got to do a little bit of ordering in that. And I've got to try and probably Saturday afternoon or Sunday, try and spend a little bit of time um, sorting bits for Nightbot out. Because it should work, it should be working. I've not seen him actually. Um, Warwick Davis Avenue, Ewok Avenue is next. Is your local road South? Yeah, my local route is Southampton to Bournemouth. With the 450s and the 444s. Don't see many 450s down here. They mainly go into Bournemouth. We do get them occasionally on some of the last runs at night, early morning. One or two during the day. Oh, you have it. Awesome. Um, they're basically the same. Uh, use a four, four, four. I mean, the good thing is if they ever did it from bought, you know. Um, I mean, to be honest, running a freight service like from from Southampton Maritime Port Container Terminal, if they just left it as Bournemouth to Southampton, so you you you'd run the service from. Southampton Container Terminal, and then you, all you do is end up going to St Denny's and stopping. Then that's not right because basically it should be extended. They should extend it to Eastley, and I know that is a very big ask because in between Eastley you've got the docks for Southampton, you've got the uh, the depot at Northern, you've got the yard on the right hand side, you've got St Denny's. which I think is there in the game anyway. But then you've also got Southampton Airport. You've got Eastley. Then you've got the entire Eastley East Yard. Um, you've got, um, yeah. But to be honest, as in the freightways, you've got the yard where you can start and finish your freight. 
if it's like your intermodal stuff or some of the DBS stuff that requires a, a crew change, then you can start and stop it. You know, you come into platform two at Eastley, I think it is now, or platform one. Come into platform one at Eastley, and you do a crew change, and then there could be a eight car four 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 drive past you on the up fast, which will be AI only. So you'd be taking all the semis to um, yes, I did say semi there, um, Evan. You'll be taking all the semi fast services up to um, up to Eastley. And then you'll be finishing your run at Eastleigh. Um, no, they do. You know, you'll you have the semi-fast service or you can run a fast service to Southampton. Um, you're at Southampton. That's cool. But yeah, I, I, can, I can see it coming. But... Ideally, it would be great if they did Eastley to pull, add that couple of extra miles on. Four miles from Bournemouth and about 10 miles from Southampton. Because it then adds that playability. And then obviously at pool, you got the, the terminating services from pool that you could take on at Eastley or you could take on as driving them at Southampton. And vice versa. So you end up going into pool, and then basically you'll do the service. Then you'll run into the t the terminating side, the, the service sidings at pool, and that'll be your run done. So you could always have Hamworthy goods as well. So yeah, there's there's plenty of scope there for to be extended, and that'd be ideal. I mean, we've had Fife Circle Line now. We've had Birmingham Cross City. We've had Gospel Oak Barking. And I think, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely they could do with um, Southampton Bournemouth. But, yeah, I think it will be Southampton Bournemouth. They do. They won't do Eastley, Bo Eastley Bay, Eastley Pool. Uh, like I said, Eastley Pool's got so much more playability. You can have loco run rounds at pool as well. Um, oh, man. Let me come to the station. <laughs> Sometimes I overshoot. Edgware Road. Like I said, sometimes I overshoot. Um, it would be nice if we could get Steam Route in the US and other countries. Yeah, I don't think they're actively working on Steam at the moment. Uh, they have said that. Um, whether, you know, and people taking it, oh, they're not going to be doing any more Steam trains, blah, 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 blah. You know, to the point where they've actually got Steam in the game, which is good. I think it would be nice if there was um, a steam route um, from Germany or America. Um, maybe not. Maybe a third party and not Dovetail doing it. But you never know. That's the thing. You never know. With the amount of people coming on with the editor... Then they get the unofficial editor. Well, not the unofficial editor, editor but the the uh, the PC editor. And then basically they they get good at it, and they're thinking, you know what? Let's see if we can get approach dovetail to produce stuff for Trains in World. Um, and you know what I mean? Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and they could be like the next Alan Thompson, the next Union Workshop. You know, and and they could be doing stuff. Whether it's just DLC, locomotive DLC, um, you know, with the release of the, pu the the public editor, that's pretty good. So 
So it's opened a whole new wave of, of, of things. It's just a bit of a shame that you can't use it on, um, like, console, which we all knew that was never going to happen. You're at 97 subscribers. Oh, well done. I don't know. May you say what? SMT. What's SMT? I don't know what SMT is, sorry. Baker Street. Get your sacks out. Something. Yeah. Just... Yeah, it's a nice sort of feeling when you get like a little milestone. That's all you need to do. Just set yourself a little milestone on your subs. Even if the next one, when you hit 150 or 100, you set the next one to 150. This is a red signal, so I want to slow for this. Not that slow, though. Yeah, you know, it's the chat. Liverpool trains. Just, you know, say what you say. Obviously, with it in, within reason and everything. You feel like you've made a new friend. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be here. I'm, I am kind and friendly, and obviously, if people start messing about, then I'm not so friendly. But you know, at that person. But yeah, no, thank you. I'm, I'm here. I just, I just, I mean, I've got people that I, I talk to. I talk to you guys. I talk to some of you that are around the world. So yeah, I, I continue. I, I, I. I take you as friends you know um yeah so no thank you what the hell then my lights not on yeah they were okay don't know what's going on there then oh, thanks sam Are we going to get passenger services on Oakfield Sub? Matt is still working on it. Um, but I think he's also doing the new freight timetable as well. Not sure. So it's it's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of hoping we get in new freight. But it will stand alone it will stand alongside with the, the old timetable. So you'll have the original Oakville's timetable and you'll have the Matt Pedelson passenger timetable with the new freight bit as well. By the sounds of it. Where are we in a moment? Coming into Regent's Park. Your nearest station is Brookenhurst. Good after uh, good evening there, Bradley. How are you, sir? Oh, you're next. Oh, you're next. Okay. Why is my doors not open? There we go. Ah, your arch nemesis. That's all right. We've had a couple of good train rides. I'm seven, eight minutes late, but hey-ho. 
I bet they're all stacking up behind me. Oxford Circus Platform 3 is next. You're not a fan of Bakerloo either. Last time you was on Bakerloo, stuff really hit the fan. Uh-oh. Well, I've already spatted. What did I spat on? Oh, it was Great Western Express, wasn't it? It's not a stream if I don't spat. No. Um, do I ever go back to Train Simulator 2020 and play NEC? No, they come off the gate. They can't come off the PlayStation, to be honest. Um, I tend not to have too many versions on the PlayStation. I've got Train Simulator 2 2023 and 2024. Or 2022, two, Train Sim World 2, Train Sim World 3, Train Sim World 4 on the um, PC, um, on Steam. You have three and four on your PS5. Yeah, I took three off because I just wanted one one version on here, to be honest. It's so much easier. Sounds for the tube are quite good. Um, you have all four versions installed at the moment. Still have six Chivos to get for 2020. To be fair, Bakerloo is one that I would play if Safis and High would play if Safis and High Speed Goblin, Bright Mainline, East Coast Mainline, and your TSC collection didn't exist. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, I do quite. I I did go for a stage where I didn't want to play it, but I I do quite like playing this. And the other thing as well, it's a bit of a high earner as well. You always mix up Brighton Main Line with Birmingham Cross City. <laughs> yeah, we all do that sometimes. You would just it once again to do all the toll on the table. I mix up Birmingham New Street with International every now and then. No Pringles adverts on here now.
uh, which for me will be within the next week as I'm 99% done with journeys not doing the five until more traffic is released awesome I want to stand a drink oh, sorry if you heard me guzzling down <coughs> I do apologise not really I just meant that oh hello you're only supposed to shut the bloody doors, hence. Yeah, so, what are your plans all tomorrow? Pardon me, thank you. Um, it's fine. It's natural human in in instinct. Yeah. But I'm not natural. Well, I've got to go to town. I've got to do a couple of things in town tomorrow. Um, then, like I said, I'm off to watch Ghostbusters, the new film, with my mates. But I've been told I must watch the, the, the Ghostbusters Afterlife, which I've had for about a year and a half I've not watched yet. So it's now on the top of my DVD pile to watch. And I've got crap loads. I've also got Gangs of London on there as well. I think Peaky Blinders somewhere. Looking, but, oh, the 33 is awesome. 33 is so, so good. Charing Cross. I've got all the DLC for Train Sim World. Are they? I've really not watched any of it, to be honest. I've just had... I've had the, the series because my mate's been recommending it and it's just sat there in my pile to watch. So, yeah. Embankment is next. I've seen clips on Facebook. There's this guy on YouTube. I can't remember what he's called, but he's putting all these clips from previous series of a certain Star Wars series together, saying, oh, season three of, um, or season two of Obi-Wan's um, just been released. Um, season four trailer of The Mandalorian. And all it is is just previous clips from the previous seasons of that ep that, that show. It's such a rip-off. Class 33 is brilliant. It subs in on Safi's and High Speed Goblin. Also appears on the Manchester route. You can't remember the name of it. Gospel uh, Glossop. Waterloo. The hell was that? Oh, mate, guys. I don't know what the hell that was. Did you hear something? Mind the gap. Yeah, well, I'm not spending it on bloody... Brocken, Brocken Barn. Oh, that's the Train Sim Classic, isn't it?
Family Guy. New Milton. Excellent. I'm so losing time at the moment. So there's the other one behind me. He got off at this station many times last year. I'm not sure what that station that is. Lambeth North is next. Ah, oh, Piccadilly Circus. These stations should be heaving. doing from Piccadilly Circus to Waterloo? Oh. Not door. So I'm just having some water. The next stop is Elephant and Castle. Going to and from dates, ah. New Milton. Awesome. Oh, too fast, too fast. Change it Waterloo for Jubilee to North Greenwich. Don't you bloody start. I'll time you out for 24 hours. No, not you, Liverpool trains. Bradley. Find him out for 24 hours because he wouldn't stop doing what he always told him to stop doing. Hmm. 
Do I have to shunt it? No, I don't. Which is good. That's a perfect stop, huh? 24,056. Let's just load this. Oh, thank God for that. 24,306. We only got a silver. That puts us over to 609, which is pretty cool. Oh, let's quickly um, return to main menu on that one. Oh, he didn't listen to you because he's still doing it. Um, right, okay. This will be the last run tonight. What are we going to be doing? Yeah, I timed him out for 24 hours. Okay, someone type stop in the chat. <laughs> oh. I forgot to take Cane Creek out, didn't I? And what do I do? I pick it up. Okay. Well, that's an interesting one. So we have had one American route and three UK routes. But what is the, the, the fourth and final route? Because it will be the final route tonight. <sighs> oh, you. Oh, blimey. I am tired. Are we doing a service scenario or journey? No, no German. No German. It's a it's one American route and three UK routes. We are doing a timetable. I've got to write those um, timetable service journey things out again because, um, yeah. Right, so we are driving. It's not very often it comes up. East Coast Main Line. Um, hmm. What are we going to drive? Not the flying money pit either. Um, Newcastle to London King's Cross Part 1. So, drive the first part of the relief use service using a spare HST from Doncaster to Claypole up passenger loop. Where the hell is Claypole up passenger loop? 1Z19. We're going to do that one, but I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go and have a PMB and then I'm going to make myself a drink as well. So bear with me, guys. Two seconds. So we're using the East Midlands HST.
Right, so I'm going to take you on a little tour of the flat. So basically, if I tap on this here, I don't know if you can hear this. Can you hear that? That is my balcony out there. I'm now walking to the back of my living room and I'm in the kitchen. Here's the tap. That's the sink. <laughs> out here, you might not be able to hear me. You might cut out. Literally in here is the bedroom. And there's someone I want you to meet. Some of you regular viewers will know him. He goes by Grogu. Hello, Grogu. There he is. Oh, Grogu. He's there. Um, and then I'll take you as far as my front door. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear any of this. He's finding that funny. So, yeah, literally, I'm here. I've got to talk quietly. I'm here at the front door. So now I'm actually just walking back through the hallway into the front room, closing the door. And I'm just going to go to the, get my glass and go to the fridge and get myself a drink. <laughs> and you're going to come with me as well. So I'm into the kitchen. Uh, what are we having? We are having uh, tropical fruit and barley from Asda. I've got to put the light on as well, sorry. And I've got to get my chilled water out as well. And I'm also going to have a chocolate chip cookie. So, um, yeah. So, don't say I didn't give you anything special. Oh, blimey. They do these tops on these bottles really, really well. Really tight. Give it a bit of a shake. A little cooler shaker. Make sure I don't spill juice all over my... PlayStation controller because it's not the best thing to do. I'll do. I'm going to do this one day, and I'm actually going. <laughs> I am actually going to. I'm actually going to put the um, walk off with the headphones plugged in and my controller on the um, on the uh, the kitchen cabinet. I'll just put it all off, and all you hear is a bang, and it gets cut off when <laughs> when the controller. Uh, deep, um, uh, disconnects from the uh, headphone lead. Um, I bought myself another Easter egg as well. I've got a Kit Kat white, white and black chocolate. Um, where's my? There we go. Oh no, I don't have one of them. I have one of these. Um, so we're having a Asda chocolate chip cookie. Why am I all advertising Asda? I'm not advertising Asda. It's just the fact that I live above Asda. Yeah, five minute walk away from me. So, um, yeah. Where am I going to get my shopping? Asta. Every little helps. Right. Uh, right. Oh, oh, And there we are. This is awkward. What is a Grogu? Grogu is known is a known unknown force user. Grogu is from Star Wars the Mandalorian. Um you got a Lint Linda. Lindy, the heck? <laughs> yeah, so basically, you just had a tour of my flat. <laughs> Baby Yoda, yeah. <laughs> Strangely enough, although the f my living room is six meters by four meters in in dimensions the same as my bedroom oh, i need a drink oh, there. 
in the summer, don't worry, in the summer, basically, I'll have these curtains open. And probably, actually, I'll have the door open as well. Or the balcony door. And I'll be going out there with the bal- <laughs> on the during the live stream, just, just sat out there in the coolness of the summer, just basically driving <laughs> with the laptop on the table and the TV um, towards aimed towards the balcony where I can actually see and drive. And I'll be there when the sun's setting. Right, let's go. You haven't got an Easter egg. <laughs> you eat them like they're going to disappear. Right. Drive the first part of this release service using a spare HST set from Doncaster to Claypole up passenger loop. Let's go. Unlock doors. Um. Which one's AWS? Is that AWS? Or is it that one? Oh, hello. Engine number one. 15.25, we've got to wait till. That's pretty cool. Based on the American fire engine. You got an Easter present. Oh, bless you. Well, the thing is, I used to get my mum an Easter egg and then... Um, she would get me an Easter egg as well. And, um, yeah, well, I'd buy myself an Easter egg. She'd get me an Easter egg and I'd buy her an Easter egg. And yeah, so it's just a bit weird that, um, I'm not buying anything for her, if you know what I mean. And yeah, it's, it hurts. It's Easter this weekend. Or as some people say, dead guy on a stick guy. It's dead guy on a stick day. Right, let's go. Ah, that's why he's running round. He's on that. Why the hell? Oh! Am I lagging at 22 frames a second? I bet you I've got a couple of reskins here. Maybe not. EWS's book, look. We're going to Blackpool for Easter. Been there, never going to go there again. 
only in Train Sim World. That's um, Rivets um, 66 is there. I had a feeling it might have been when I saw the ones over the other side because their 66s don't have the zero um, incidents thingy on it because it's copyright to Freightliner. That's why Rivets managed to do get do the ONE um, the ONE version because it doesn't have Freightliner on it or Gen C Wyoming. It sent me to Ringo Star. Nice. Chat is dead. No, chat's carrying on. stop at Radskill up passenger loop I suppose we got a uh, let a um, down in the yard job for you yeah I don't really when usually this time I do start to get a little bit tired um, especially if I've been awake since about five o'clock I've gone on to about 2 o'clock before, 2 a.m. in the morning. Homework time. Is that homework time? From what time? Oh, um, from 7.30. 19.30 to about 2 a.m. I've done a couple. Yeah, they're not the only ones dropping off about 10 p.m., so do I. <laughs> I have been known to fall asleep while streaming. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was the one. I, I was swearing, yeah, I'm finishing at half 11. Oh, we'll just carry on with this. Yeah. 2 a.m. Um, okay, that'll be it, guys. But I've done um, 12, uh, 10 hour streams before. There is an update for Midland Mainline inbound as well, at some point. But I think that will coincide with, didn't Adam say that will coincide with the cargo line? Volume 2. Um, yeah, they are. Um, I've stopped doing them for the time being because because uh, I was I was also uh, being doing a caring for my mum and because I did two years of twenty four seven caring and doing an eight hour stream ten hour stream it I was suffering for a few days um, for it so I've knocked them on the head but um, at some point they are going to be coming back i'm going to be streaming monday um i'm going to be streaming monday afternoon from about two o'clock possibly through till seven um i haven't decided what time yet um but it will be uk routes only What is something what you like what's not trained? Um, computers, photography, motor racing, cars, um, video games. Let's not forget Brian. Who the hell's Brian? Yeah, yeah, he did the last one a couple of weeks ago, didn't he? Um, raised nearly five thousand pound, I think it was. Do I like what? I've no idea what that is. Come, we've got a mile to go before we stop. I have no idea what that is, I'm afraid. Airplanes. Um, I did have Microsoft Flight Sim, um, but I'm selling my Xbox. Um, oh, that was fun. Brian. Who's Brian? I'll tell you who Brian is. He's not the Messiah. Just a very naughty boy. <laughs> I have got something on here. I've got... Um, on my on my digital video my video recorder digital digital thing i videoed and now for something completely different which is classic monty python and i've got to watch that because that is one thing that i will save i will put the padlock on that and not delete it because i will watch that time and time again i love monty python it's just ridiculous satire which is my kind of humor I do it all the time, like. <laughs> right. G'day. Right. Um. It was something I was going to say, and I can't remember. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Oh, I just love Monty Python. The mean was it the meaning of life that they they were going on about um, the 
crucifixion and everything and it really upset the religious leaders and I was just like oh man I'm also good at talking to myself as well practice <laughs> yep trust me when you go to look after someone do caring for them they just don't listen to you you always talk to yourself life of Brian there you go Was I a train driver in real life? No. Um, I was planning on becoming a train driver, but yeah, that just didn't happen. We're quite a long train, actually, aren't we? Um, I couldn't even if I wanted to, to be honest. Um yeah medical conditions won't let me near, near get into a cab although i have driven a train in real life so um, yeah he is virtually well that is so true yeah that is so i've been doing this been doing this most of my life Well, it takes many, many years. Um, makes a, takes a lot of training to do. Bradley is a train driver. So we're not looking at that red signal. It's that red signal. That one there. Why the hell have we got to wait? There's nothing coming. But I've got the green, so I'm off. Mind the gap is my notifications on my phone. Um, yeah, I've got uh, many airs disease, so I have balance problems, so I can't be on, on around the railway. Not very um, safety for me.
Oh, that is so cool. I've actually, strangely enough, I've actually been looking at some of the, the Lego Star Wars little kits because you get loads and loads of Lego Star Wars minifigures with them. And I'm like, yeah, I could do with them with a little scene for the, the when I eventually make up the Millennium Falcon, which after seeing that woman spend 40 hours plus make, remaking her Millennium Falcon, which I really did like how she did it, actually. That's quite cool. And she had Star Wars on in the background. And when she stopped, when she stopped the fast frame video when she sneezed and then um it was like what was it obi-wan said you were the chosen one and then sped it all back up again which i thought was quite cool yeah i may have a look at them and, and you know see how things go These Soka clones, ooh. 322, 332, I don't know. Right, so we're notch five at the moment, and we are 15 miles of Carlton up passenger loop. Then we've got Claypole. It's another half hour. So it's a 55 minute run. How do you get to be a moderator? You don't. I I choose you. No one asks because I because uh, my rule is that if you ask to be a moderator, I'd like to know why. Um, and not being horrible, but I wouldn't. And this is just basically anyone that's just come in. I wouldn't choose you to be a moderator because a I just you you've only come in what the last two or three streams um and i'd like to know what's your motive to become why do you want to become a moderator there's no perks you don't get paid for it um and it's a lot of responsibility because you know um these guys not only moderate on here they also moderate on my twitch streams which i no longer do and also um they moderate on my discord forum server No, it's, it's just fine. I mean, a, a lot of people do. You, you, you'd be surprised at how many people do um, ask about it. Um, and I'd say exactly the same thing. It's literally Bradley, Carl, Jack. The only person that was actually a moderator, asked to be a moderator, was Ben. He was the guy that helped me set the Discord server up. Um, and I've known Ben since he was a... Um, knee high to a nap basically and he's now 21 so I've known him for a few years um, and he asked to become a moderator which he's a silent moderator um, and then I've got Jack is Jack is busy working so he's on as and when he's a moderator and then I've got Carl and Bradley and um, yeah Yeah, this is going to be the last one tonight, Sabine. Um, yeah, you're kind of right. You don't ask for it. You you kind of earn it. Um, I mean, Bradley, I can't remember when Carl became... It was quite early on, wasn't it, Carl, I think? Um, Bradley was here from literally day one when I started doing my streaming, I think it was, wasn't it, Bradley? Um, and that was what over four years ago five years ago now 27 2019 2018 um, and it was just so happened that I had a lot of problems um, and I made Bradley and Jack a moderator straight up and I didn't ask them. I just said I just put them as a moderator. Oh, cheers, Evan! You just stuck around. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's it's just like when you look at the analytics for your live streams and everything. It it's it's a quite interesting read. I can spend hours 
looking at my analytics uh, of the, the, what that is is it basically it tells me all about the, the data and the stats for my videos like where have they been watched to how, the, the, the age of the people that watch them um, so yeah it's, it, it's, it's, it's very interesting how uh, and, and you could how the analytics work you can actually gauge like what video is more popular now currently my live streams are more popular than my real train videos or pre-recorded train sim world or train sim classic videos last year think for me but you've been a moderator for about yeah you've been a subscriber for three or four years yeah you you've been here from nearly the front end haven't you all the beginning um but yeah it's it's it's, it's pretty cool where sometimes um um the live streams get how how the live street people find my live streams i mean I've yet to see any of my Train Sim World videos end up on the, you know, on the PlayStation 5, it gives you, like, um, if you if you choose your little, like, Train Sim World 4 tile and then scroll down on your bottom, on your down pad, um, you can then scroll down to existing DLC or where there's videos been made of it. It's very rare... And in fact, I've never seen any of my Train Sim World videos appear on that video selection list. Although, it has been done with Construction Sim. You've been here since 70 subscribers, yes. That's a pretty good feat. We're up to 2,705 now, so, um, so yeah, but... If, if just one, if I had donations from all 2,705 people, yay, um, YouTube would be making a bit of money. Um, hence why I put the PayPal up there, because it's so easy. I mean, you could either donate via the, the you know, the, the, the pound, the little pound dollar, the dollar sign, or the, um, or the little PayPal at the top. Wait, what, what? I've got 2,705 subs, yeah. You found me when you had one subscriber. Yeah, that wasn't long ago, was it? That was about less than about a year ago. So, I mean, bearing in mind, I've had... Uh, originally, going back to 2007, I think I've had this channel for. So I've had it for quite a while. Um... Yeah, it's it's a bit weird. That your viewers are sixty five plus. Not really. Oh hello. Oh We are so gonna get boned. Trying to intent bring the bring the horns up to an intense level. I was just like carrying on, like yeah, let's go, 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 go down to King's Cross, yeah. But no, we're doing all right. The 
sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. You're watching to the end. So am I, hopefully. <laughs> it's not I'm asleep. <laughs> oh, the, the end could have been nigh, actually, because if I'd spat it, that would have been it. I'd have been going to bed. Well, I wouldn't have been going to bed, but I've got washing up to do. <sighs> I wouldn't be a legend driver in real life, trust me. I'd be sacked. <laughs> too much horn usage that's just gone though yellow as I looked at it it's just gone yellow this I do quite like a trick when you do it you got adverse signals it's pretty cool it keeps you on your toes You can't clip it. Oh no! Why can't you clip it? You can. Uh, you might be able to watch it back and then clip it that way. I don't know. Why is that just? We'll go to twenty. Good evening, Adam, if you're watching. Does that include the full stop or not that you put after the AT? I think we're fully in, aren't we? That's what she said. Oh, yeah, we're in the loop. It would have been nice that we actually were passed by Azumas or something. Instead of having to wait here till... 1558 or 4600. Wait until 1605. Really? Maybe. I am waiting for a Zuma. What have we got? Yeah, we've got a yellow there. Another yellow. Devil Crossing. There's a red, no. Not according to that.
Where the hell's that? Don't recognise that place. I can hear someone's TV. Now, I was a bit, when I moved in here, I was a little bit worried because I was thinking that, you know, the walls are so thin in here. Um, and um, I was like thinking, oh, they, they'll, they'll be able to hear me. Apparently not. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Where's the DRA? <laughs> Eight minute wait. Are there any female TSW ambassadors? I don't think there is. I know there's a few female beta testers and moderators for the certain uh forums and the white the the youtube streams and twitch streams but i don't think there's any ambassadors i could be wrong and if i am i do apologize because i wasn't aware, i'm not aware Oh, something coming up. Oh, okay. I do like the closing speed of those Azumas. Even even when you stood still, they they're, they're fast. Actually, I suppose I can st I can stick that in first anyway. I'd say first in fo <coughs> sorry in forward gear. Oh, I've got nice, lovely velvet blue curtains that I bought just notice the creases in them from when they were folded yeah these curtains are they're 10 foot wide by oh it's rainy again 10 foot wide by 10 foot with a 10 foot drop um but these are lovely velvety blue blackout curtains they're lovely defending scarif Going to deploy the garrison. Deploy the garrison. He's a, that guy, Cred Krennic. He's he's Australian, and he was in Neighbours. I remember him in Neighbours as well. Because old Nads Nicholson, that plays Jin's, um, Jin Erso's papa, his brother plays, um, um, Thorn, Admiral Thorn, in Ahsoka. And he also does the voiceover of Admiral Thorne in the Star Wars Rebels uh, series. Okay, Sam, thanks for popping in. It's really appreciated. Don't worry about, you know, don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah, you take it easy. Cheers for popping in. Everyone say goodnight to Sam.
What's going on with the timetable? Nothing. I just get held. Don't know why. Can't really see a point. There's nothing there behind me. I mean, the other thing as well is like people going on about. I kind of think with, with a lot of you people, you guys, I've got kind of a little community here as well. So, and and some of you for like over the last six months has been really, really good talk, being able to talk to you and that with everything that's been going on. So, yeah, a really big thank you guys. Um, mm. And if I'm just saying, if I was working, then I would be doing some giveaways um i might be able to see if i can get hold of have a word with dovetail see if i can get some keys to give away um but yeah i need to speak to dovetail on that that could be train sim classic or train sim world Yes, keys to route. Ah, look, so we are going to be waiting. Because that isn't for me. Yeah, keys to download DLC. So, um, yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. I, I've got to speak to to, 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 um, to um, the people I need to speak to. So, yeah. Hi, Mark. Well, you're on the last one. This is the last route tonight anyway, so we're just waiting for an Azuma to zoom by or something. So he's, 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 he's pretty quick because he's going through the sections. He's, he's had a single yellow, double yellow. Now he's onto a green, so yeah. There you go. Um, wave your head at them, but make sure it's slow with no, with two figures. Okay. SCR. Is that something County Railway or something like that? Stepford County Rail. Stepford something Railway? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Roblox, yeah. These are not the droids you're looking for. Oh, I knew I forget it. The DRA. So please, you're settling in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just had a couple of upsets and not been myself over the last few days. Oh, dynamic weather settling in. Um, so what was my opinion on the five route? It's, I like it. I won't say it's perfect, um, but I wouldn't buy it at full price. I'd buy it in a sale. That's my personal opinion. Um, I love the 170. I think that's been really modelled quite well. Um, the same with the station areas. And the thing for me, it's the timetable. Not the fact that the amount of trains per hour i.e. as in the I, I prefer that they actually did it based on the real timetable not on certain bits of the timetable so that we'd have the full the full lot the ECS runs to Edinburgh Waverley from Haymarket 
and Haymarket back to Edinburgh Wa- Edinburgh Waverley back to Haymarket so we'd have them also the fact that we have the 801 AI services from Edinburgh through to, to Glasgow um, and they are they are doing the um, um They are doing an update, um, which would include 33 new services added to the base layer. These are from to and from Edinburgh Waverley to Cowdenbeath. A layer with six rail tour services using the Flying Scotsman logo, Mark 1 and Mark 2 coaches, and the Blackpool Large Logo Class 47 and a layer with two rail tool services using the Black Jubilee with Mark 1 coaches. And that's not all. So there's they're doing, obviously, other bits. Hello there, Daniel. How are you, sir? Um, hitting 50 subs? It's, it's, it's better than 40. Put it that way. It's, it's a start. It's a start. Um... Um, yeah, I, I, I think it does need, it, it needs more work, I think. Um, but I think this is, this is a first for me that I turn around and say that I would not buy it full price because I don't think it's worth full price. Um, yeah, it's very hypocritical for me because I got it free as a key, but that's not the point. I don't think it's worth, and this is, you know, literally unheard of for me. I don't think it's worth thirty pound in its current state and form. Um. I'm just kind of fed up, to be honest, when anything like this happens, all the attention turns to the ambassadors where they say, oh, well, they get it free of charge. They're all right. They're going to say it's great, all this sort of shit and all that. And then anything like that happens, they're the first to belittle them. And I'm like, no, we're not told by Dovetail what to say. Well, that's, you know, I suspect that that's something that the beta testers have told them about. Um, that will be done, and sorted at some point. I can't say when, I don't know, you know. Um, it, to be honest, it's just as and when. Bradley's going to get the PC editor. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, it took them nine months. And don't forget, they've also a second party site, a second party um, as well to certain other things. So they could have been doing certain assets for dovetail so yeah I thought I had the bloody door open
Oh, that sounds awesome. Now, I am looking at hopefully getting a full HST rake of coaches two power cars and I think it's eight or ten I've got I've got to get replacement wheel sets though because at the moment they're a bit rubbish wait patiency for the next one two five group charter yeah <laughs> take your time on that one No, I'd, I'd, I'd say that, yeah, whether they clag or lack of clag, they don't, you know, it's not, it's, it, it's not a game breaking bug. And it's something that it, it won't be looked at as to more like if, if like one of the scenarios or certain bits where the collectibles aren't collectible. Um, because that can stop you from getting the platinum. Bradley, if I just clipped it in my hand, I have eaten too much. Grizzly? Grizzly spaghetti, Italian recipe. Oh, lovely. It will be it will be before the Jacobite returns recipe. It will be it will be before they actually put decide to put. Uh, no, it will be before they decide that they're actually in the wrong and that they need to put the central door locking on the coaches. They're just cutting their nose off to spite their own face because they should have done it some they should have done that years ago if there's other companies that can do it and they're on a less of a budget than what they are then yeah there's no collectibles achievement for five. Oh, great Yeah, yeah, yeah. My first HST trip was Birmingham New Street to Derby. Um, I've done a run from um, Edinburgh to King's Cross, um, Pool to Birmingham New Street, Paddington to um, Reading, Paddington to Didcot, did cut the Paddington, did cut the Reading, Reading to Pool. Um, I've done a few trips on the HSC. Right, I, I get what you mean there, Mark, but it's like what Sam was saying when I was in the stream the other day. He was saying that the, the wheels that the bogey sounds the wheel sounds not the run sound the, i think it's the run sounds or the bogey sounds he said they weren't sounding the correct ones it's not a big issue because it's something that yes it is okay if the sounds aren't right and you obviously you can't see the exhaust it is a problem yes but compared to say like if the 158 and the 140 the 170 couldn't couple and they were supposed to because of it's supposed to happen in the game then what do you think they would be fixing first it won't be the bogey run sounds or it won't be the the, the, the smokeless smoke it will be the coupling because that is more of a requirement in game and it's I'm not saying they'll ignore it they won't they probably they probably know about it anyway um, it's just the fact that there's far more important um, 
do you know what? I'm going to carry this on through to the thingy. I think it's only another 45 minutes, so we'll go to midnight. I don't care. Stick around, folks. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's not a priority to them as high up on the list that stuff that must be updated in the first update. Whether it comes to it, I don't know. I'm not saying it will, not saying it won't, but... You know, it's it's down to them at the end of the day how they... It's like triage. You, you've got to work out what is the worst... What is the most important update to do to be done? Yeah, the timetable needs... I mean, to be honest, the timetable... It's... I, I don't think so much it's it's the timetable it's not busy in real life it's not that busy the timetable itself um but it's the lack of the ecs services i mean they've they're adding another 15 cowden beef to another 30 sorry cowden beef to edinburgh and edinburgh to cowden beef services so that's 33 so but you're looking at about probably about 15 but there's no ECS services. So how do the how do, how do the trains get from the depot? Well, at least they're non-driving. And the fact that there's no 170 units at Haymarket. Fixing the pantos on the trains, on the AI trains, yeah. Not Brighton mainline level, no. So, you know, it's... <sighs> oh, dear. So, yeah, I can understand, but... I mean, I you know, I don't think it was... I mean, compared to Benina Line, Benina Line looks awesome. The Nina line has a few problems, a couple of bugs or whatever. I mean, no software is ever released without bugs. And if it is, then what's wrong with it? I was going to say, we're going to do the full run into Leicester. I'm thinking, no, we're a little bit further east than that. Six ten. Awesome. Let's just return to timetable. Yeah, I think they it was it was pre twenty eighteen, it's pre COVID that he did he used. I mean that in its in itself that it's it's got to the point where a lot of the services are not crashing. So you tell me the passengers wait in that siding until sixteen fifty two. Really? No. You're having a giraffe. Right, let's get this one done. We'll take the dynamic weather off to, to do my Sweden. Dynamic weather is nice, but it's just like it, 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 it's, it's like a, it's like an English, English summer. Next one, that one minute it's absolutely boiling hot. Next minute it's hellstones, cold, and minus ten. I think southeastern high speed. The first one was COVID. The second one isn't. Okay, Liverpool trains, thanks for popping in. No worries, mate. Everyone say goodnight to uh, Thingy. Google, what the hell are you doing? No worries, me. Everyone say goodnight. No, Google, sod off. Okay, Google. Shut up.
No, don't set the alarm for seven o'clock. Extended is now, yeah. Right. Drive the second part of this release service. Use a spare HST from Claypole up passenger loop to power to Peterborough. Let's go. Do we are eight coaches? Thank you very much for being really appreciated. If you like the stream, hit the like button, hit the sub button as well, guys. Really, really appreciated. He said extended. <laughs> oh, Evan, Evan, Evan. I'm out of water. Who can I send to get some water? Uh, well, we better key in and everything, haven't we? Uh, DRA it. We'll steal day headlight markers. Put the dimmer up. Oh, put the dimmer up 100. I think we're ready. Where are we stopping to then? 12 miles? Uh, where are we stopping in 12 miles then? What's there? What? For God's sake. Guess who left the DRA on? Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Your favourite English route? Oh, cool. I'd have to say, for me, I think Great Western is still a favourite. South Eastern High Speed, Brighton Main Line. East Coast Main Line. Um... Did I say Brighton Mainline? Can't remember who I did. Yeah, right, Bradley. I smell bull on that and I'll raise you five. <laughs> well, in theory, it should have been the end because they, that was going to be the last one, but it's only 45 minutes. And I think most of you can bear me for another 45 minutes if you sat here for three hours. You rarely drive South East and High Speed now, and when you do, it's on the same service as on the 700. Oh, wow. Damn it, 4605. Ooh, 465 is awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm kind of hoping that they will eventually appear. I mean, I'd be happy if the 801s appeared. I mean, they've gone to the point of bringing the 801s into Edinburgh via AI and out of AI, yet they've not done AI services to Glasgow, and there's not that many. Why? You're watching to the end. Thank you. The 465s are nice. I'd love to see more, like, second-generation emus, like the 317, or like the 314, the, over, the OHLEs. 
the three one sevens. Definitely love to see them. For me, my favourite e electric multiple unit is the 442. You never saved during your run earlier when you rebooted the game. It let me restart from halfway point. Yay! Hope you don't crash at the end again. To be fair, to rivet L in the R only run two trains, two trains per day to Glasgow Central. Yeah, but surely that could have been done. Do you know what I mean? The 403 and the 423. Oh, nice. 403, is that the ICE? Yeah, a 442 would be great. But then again, you'd have to have a 455 unit in there as well, Evan. Oh, the S-Bahn 423. I do like a lot of the German electric units as well. well to be honest, though, we've not, I've not really driven many German routes over the last few weeks. Um, I don't think we've had many, actually. Dresden Riser. Oh, Hamburg Lübeck. That was last Saturday. Dresden Riser on the seventh on March the ninth. Main Specit Barn as well. No, we didn't do Main Specit Barn. Main Toll Barn on the second of March. Vorlberg, Dresden Chemnitz. Munich, Augsburg, Rosenheim. Not played that one for a while. Dresden. Your favourite train is Austrian. Um, I think it's the one that it's the BR182 Taurus, whatever they Austrian. The S is it OBB equivalent is. Which I can't remember. Don't we have? Don't we have seat seat Seberbahn coming out? Seberin coming out at some point? Not Subaru. Seberin. Oh, okay. I might as well leave this at 100 because that's what the speed of it. Oh, we've got to start slowing down. What's a 158? Really? 
Where's he going? Oh, he's going off there. Hey, fellow East Midlands trains. Oh, I'm going to zoom up. See, this is where it gets busy and you need to keep your wits about you. Oh, the Norwich Liverpool train or one of the other AI EMT jobs. I can't remember what station this would be. I think the signal will change as we get close to it. Let's grant them. We'll hit, hit the AWS magnet. So you've got a 25 mile an hour limit, point change. Okay. Oh, these can go a little bit faster than 125. I wouldn't be surprised now that we've got a, um, a Pendolino, not a Pendolino, uh, 801. Yeah, the same with the 442s. Their maximum permitted speed was uh, 100 miles an hour. But I think at one stage they got up to about 110, 111. Um, because the one where the 25 mile an hour sign was, the 25 mile an hour on the little distance thing up the top right hand corner, that was another line. So it tells you that 25 mile an hour is on the left. Hi William, how you doing? 
so if we were crossing over to the to this line again the main it would have on the left hand side of our distance thing it would have 25 miles an hour and then it would then say like have it at 125 on the, below where the green light is There you go, fastest third rail powered unit in the in the world. Not anymore though, because um, it's rare as rocking horse teeth now. I'm just cruising up to the signal because we it's not worth going 40 because you've only got to slow down again so yeah i will be i'm going to stream monday afternoon i don't think i'm doing anything oh we've got a green now um but it will be uk routes and i will take all my uk routes and put them in a big hat and we'll probably go to seven o'clock. Um, three one nine's got up to hundred regularly between Ellsworth and Balcombe Tunnel uh, on Connex Express work between Victoria and Brighton. Call it East Coast and then Brighton. Yes, I'll be streaming on Saturday as well. Excellent. That's good. I'm in no rush to get the signal, to be honest. I'm here till I fall asleep. I'll probably actually go, I'll go to bed and I'll probably watch an episode of Voyager, to be honest. I'd rather watch them out here on the big TV, but because my 4K player does not play standard DVDs, then I can't. <laughs> Um, I personally wouldn't buy it full price. I'd wait until a sale. That's just my personal opinion. Um, uh, I think they should have waited for it to be done, to be honest. To be finished. I don't think it's... You know, it's nice that we're getting the update with all the extra bits and bobs now, the extra services, but that that's not going to be in the next two weeks where which some people think it is it isn't um bradley's there oh bradley bradley's there um bradley thinks the five circle line's boring um the 170 is great i'm loving it um but as i said before i think the timetable is is rubbish um they are adding an extra 33 services in on the timetable edinburgh powder and beef cow and beef edinburgh services so um yeah yeah the thing is though with uh, and i fully understand both sides of the argument here i can live with it just showing the um what you call it the um the head code uh, the head code number but then again i would like to have been able to do it where you can put everything in and input it at the signal um but i can understand why they've not done it that's what we're waiting for Even though the signal, my R signal might turn green, I've still got to stop because it's a stop indicator. So yeah, um, um, so yeah, but uh, I like it, but. 
I'm a bit disappointed in it. And I've actually said that on to, on on the survey, saying you know, I do like. I do like the, uh, the I do like the route, but disappointed in the fact about the timetable. Um, I'm not a big fan of the the, the, the scenarios either because I just you know, and I know I know from first hand that trying to create a scenario is not the easiest thing to do. That's a train sim classic. <laughs> Bradley's a spy. Bradley just sits back and watches. He's a watcher. Yeah, Bradley does a lot of the scenarios. He he literally releases every time the route comes out, he does all the videos for the scenarios. It is literally all the scenarios, isn't it? And I'm not sure what episode he's up yet in the series, but there's a few. Well, you won't get the full Dundee run because it doesn't go as far as Dundee. It just goes to Mark Inch. The problem being, you've got to judge the braking. Right. This would go green now. Maybe not. I'm trying to find those rebel forces. You feel the route was rushed. Uh, it wasn't rushed. They, it took them nine months to make. Oh, hoping you get the service complete. Yeah, I suspect you can. You just got to, you know, you just got to get to the point in like keep a note. I mean, this is fine coming from me because I spat it earlier on. But the thing is, though, when you do it, you're not streaming. I'm streaming. That's the problem. And I'm I'm looking at the um, what you call it. I'm looking at the chat and I'm looking at the stream as well. And what what you need to do is. As soon as you start seeing yellows, start slowing down. Double yellows, start slowing down. When you're at a single yellow, you want to be doing half or three quarters less than the maximum permitted speed. So if your line speed's 50, you want to be doing 25 or less. And bef between the yellow and the red, you want to be getting down into the teenage areas. And as you're not that far away from the yet the red, you want to be doing less than ten. Spad is my middle name. Oh hell yeah. Bad or um, take out Dresden. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. 24 miles to Peterborough, we can do it. We've got the road. Yeah, you need to be less than, you know, about 10 miles an hour when you hit the AWS magnet, not 100 miles an hour, because you're never going to stop. Bradley could tell you 
the actual speeds that you should be going when you hit yellows but I always gauge it on double yellow start slowing down yellows you want to be doing at least half your maximum speed line speed or less than that Ouch, point work. Oh, get off, get off. Yeah, they are there at um, Fife, um, at Edinburgh Waverley. I, th I think it needed more time for the timetable release, uh, for the, to do the timetable. But, you know, it took them nine months to do it. But, but, oh, let me turn them down a bit because it's like I'm shouting. I don't want to be shouting because I've got neighbours. The, the problem being is that it's, it's, take, it's taken them nine months to do it. They're only a small crew, so they might not have been working on it all the time, but in total it's taken them nine months to do it. But the other thing is as well, they're also working on other projects as well. They're also a second party site uh, uh, second party thing as well where they work for Dovetail and probably other other ones where they do where they make the 3D models and that the assets so yeah I mean my, my opinion is everyone's got an opinion so my opinion doesn't really matter doesn't really state to be honest but it's what I think probably should have done they should probably not they probably could have waited a little bit longer to release it but that's not saying they will it it, it means nothing I'm, I'm just an you know i'm only an ambassador I'm, I'm not a person that actually knows really how it all works and everything i know that they don't have a lot of staff but they said it took uh, jasper said it took nine months to do and all this on top of everything else including the um the uh, the freight pack that they released the two sixty sixes, so yeah, you know I I sorry, just Discord message just come up on my feed. Um, I mean it's like everyone else's opinions, you know. Opinions are like a-holes. Everyone's got one, you know? It's important. That's all it is at the end of the day. But it doesn't necessarily mean you're right. Um, and you can express your opinion and you're thinking, yeah, I know, but I think it should have been done like this, should have been done like that. And that's what a lot of people do. And But there's a lot of people that don't know how the companies work. And then they think they can turn around and say, well, you know, you should do this, you should do that. It, it doesn't always work that way and as you say it is that is just stating your opinion and your opinion doesn't always mean that you're right, you're right in in how they do their practices and how th that those practices that you say put across in your opinions will actually work because sometimes it doesn't so yeah it's 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 you know everyone's got an opinion they've got a right to say something but it doesn't mean that they're always right. Um, I mean, my personal view is I don't think it should have been released. I think they should have waited for 
Ähm, ähm, I think they should have waited for, for the uh, 33X services and probably the Reltor services to go in. I know in, in, in the... Um, In, in in the stream you know they made it clear that this was not the final build that, they, that, that there is a newer build and how dovetail work is that and, and this will be i think the same as all the other third party and second party people work when they're creating a route there are several builds uh, not several builds but dovetail could be working on one build but like rivet could have another build all ready to go for dovetail to work on do you see what i mean so they could be on one build what this is what they that happened with five um dovetail had one build what they were going to stream on what they're going to stream with and um rivet were working on another build which was the which had everything in it which was not the not the passions of things, but what we what was released on Tuesday was the build that uh, Rivet had, which didn't have which which had the everything in which the other route didn't have the, the other build on what Dovetail um, streamed um, on the Thursday, and that's why there's a lot of people saying, well, why didn't you show the final build? Well, because Rivet had it and Dovetail didn't. You know, it's it's getting everything over to Dovetail before a stream. Now, both Matt and um, Alex, I think Alex was actually at home and Matt was at home. So they were both streaming from home. And they, you know, I think Alex has to come all the way from Manchester. I think it is if he goes to Dovetail. Um because that time when I, I went to Dovetail um, um, and on the Friday when I came back we actually had Alex on our train going back to I think he went to he went to Victoria then he we got off at Victoria he then went on to Euston he's catching the train back to Manchester um And um, so, yeah, so he's working from home and Matt, Matt just isn't far from home. So he just literally drives there, boom, and he's all set up and everything. But, um, yeah, time to tuck into your burgers and fries. I better not forget the beans. No, get those beans on. Get those beans on. I've not, I've not had any hot meal. Well, I have, but not for my cooker because it's not working. Um, I need it to be connected. Um, and yeah I'm waiting on someone to get back to me so I bought a hot I bought a roast dinner that I can actually do I have a roast dinner? I think I did bought a roast dinner on my bike one on Saturday um, so I can have on Sunday stick it in the microwave you did thank Dovetail for for working fans on ceiling with the 718 not from the cab no I mean I don't oh what for why I've got no food I uh, think my cooker needs to be connected up to the electricity supply which I'm trying to get hold of someone to do there we go, it starts slowing down, Tony. And um, I'm waiting on the person to get back to me after I've sent them the relevant information. And um, yeah, <laughs> they just haven't got back to me yet. And by the looks of it, they won't be getting back to me now till after the, the Easter break, which is really annoying. That's okay. I mean, I can nuke stuff. I've got the chip shop across the road. You're doing all right stopping so far. That's pretty cool. Sorry. 
So you're 120 miles an hour. So you got a yellow. That'd be a should be a double yellow. No, it's a green now. So that's cool. You just speed up a bit. Um, it's basically the only thing I've got left to do now. And then I've just I've got to order. I'm waiting on 250 pound to be credited back to my account because I bought. I went to buy a computer desk, paid for it. And they said, oh, delivery is between 30 and 40 working days, which is eight weeks. And I was like, no, can way. I'll, I'll cancel that order. I can, I'll have my money back, thanks. So I'm waiting on that to be refunded. Um, then I've got to get my computer and order a computer desk, buy one, and get it delivered, and get my PC up and running. Yeah, it's a joke. Yeah, they said you could have it for an extra 30 quid and free delivery. You can have it next day and I was like why not just send it next day oh because you had it on standard delivery it's like oh my god so if this crashes as we get to Peterborough I will bid you farewell <laughs> bid you fa good morning and good night um, and I was oh my god I've got so much stuff to get off my bed I've got to do the washing up yet as well um, I've got to get loads of boxes and bits off my bed there's just going to be a whole load of stuff going in a box and it's just going down the bottom of my bed um, I don't think I'll watch a DVD tonight I've enjoyed this stream after a bit of a day yesterday cash grab desk yeah I mean I've seen some nice desks about but I'm just like I'd like to have a black desk your first train tomorrow morning is almost a stop of service to Bristol your train calls at all stops to Bristol and still calls at loads more after Plymouth yeah We must have a train in front, which I suspect it's that Azuma. You're on a train on next Saturday. Oh, cool. I think we cross over here. Raw mail. Off to Stratford. Why are you off to Stratford? Shopping centre? you going no what one are you well you're GBRF one that's the first time I've ever seen a train going up through there catch my train up now
I think I might leave the washing up till tomorrow, to be honest. I've got plenty of dishes I can use. <laughs> I'll just have to wash up tomorrow morning because I've got dinner plates and dishes there. You've rode two trains in your life. Both on track. Cool. Oh, we've got a yellow. Um, and they weren't short distance ones. I'd love to do a long distance. I don't know if, if I'd like to do a long distance one. I had a mate, he went over to America a couple of weeks ago and he did the one from LA, was it LA to Chicago? He did that one, took about three or four days. Yeah, I've done London to, well, actually, to be honest, if you think about it, it was it was Paul to London Waterloo, London Euston to Glasgow, Glasgow to Edinburgh, and um, then Edinburgh to King's Cross, London Waterloo to Paul, and that I did that in twenty four hours. Cali, yeah, California Zephyr, I think it was. That I started at 25 to 7 on the Friday night and I got back home just before midnight on the Saturday night. Got back into pool midnight on the Saturday night, got home just after midnight on the Sunday morning. So, um, yeah, that was my... And that, do you know how much I paid for that? five pound because you're a lunatic <laughs> Bradley did a seven seven hundred oh oh wow frame rate dropped on that I suspect we've got reskinned locos in here as well. That's why it's dropped. And because I zoomed in right at the wrong minute. If it will crash, it will crash around here. Two hours on that 700, yeah. You love it. Four hundred and twenty billion kilometers and tracing well, nice. Oh, hello, we've got a fifty-nine on the old um that's why it lagged. We've got a fifty-nine on the old uh thingy. We've got two fifty nines there, look. Shouldn't they be on aggregates? EWS is booked. I have a friend who works for GBR, GBRF at Peterborough. He's he's quite young. He's in his early twenties. He worked. He went went to college, studied at college and everything, and. Um, he now he moved to Peterborough works for GBRF can't remember where it is he does but it's quite high up what he does and um, yeah he's getting on he's done really well for himself his, his Instagram is Haribo Mix Haribo Train Mix and um, yeah, he's done quite, doing quite well.
So on the approach to the station now. There are cats on this route as well. I something like that, I think. You also volunteers at the Isle of Wight Steam Railway as well. Ah, we have a GBRF job here. And uh, what the f is that? What the f that's mine, that isn't that is definitely the wrong font. If they are uh, why they thought that was good, I don't know. They've done a nice job with the livery, but the actual logo is wrong. I know my Hentis Rail ONE 66 is the logo on that. The ONE logo is wrong on that because I couldn't get the square right. I just couldn't get the ONE as a square. Oh, I know it sounds really stupid, but if you look at O N E on any um, containers or the side of locos, you will see that it's a square zero. I don't know that sounds so wrong, but yeah. Was that red? So oh, it's right behind that that stanchion there. Look, station spot was missing. Yeah. We'd seen a West Midlands Railway sort of advert there for East Midlands trains as well. And Ed in the R. Oh, hello. Look at that. How did we do? 11,141. So level 611 already. Look, wow. Brilliant. Right then, guys and ladies. Hi, hey, Josh. How are you doing? What do I think is the next UK route? I actually don't know. I have no idea. I'm hoping it's easily to pull, but yeah, I think that's a really bad hope. Um, I don't know. Bradley, I'm going to slap you in a minute. Um, I wouldn't know, to be honest. Um, Yeah, I'm I'm not really sure, um, to be honest. I I mean even if I well, I if I knew what the next route was, I couldn't tell you anyway, because I'm under um NDA. But um yeah. I I don't know what one is being produced. I don't even know what the next British UK loco is. So um yeah. But yeah, that's it for me guys. Um I will now be streaming on tomorrow night, which is Saturday, because it's we're now in the early hours of Friday. Um so yeah, I'm gonna leave the washing up till tomorrow morning, sort it. I don't care. <laughs> um I'm not being hot I'm not being I'm I'm just not being untidy. I'm just like not gonna be doing the washing up at quarter past midnight. Um so yeah, guys, thank you all very much, guys and gals. 
uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I will see you. I'll be on Discord at some point over the next couple of days. But I will be streaming on Saturday, and then we will have Bank Holiday Monday afternoon stream as well. So, yeah, guys, thank you all very much um, for being here and watching me and uh, hit the like button and everything. And, um, yeah, I will speak to you guys later. Take it easy and, um, and have fun. Okay, take it easy and see you later on. Um, where's my... There it is, broadcast. Four hours and 53 minutes. So that was a long one. See